guys, it's me, Jennifer Biana, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and like, comment, and all that jazz, and let me know what you think. Also, please click the notification bell to be notified every time I post, and my social media will be somewhere here if you'd like to follow. Come through my Instagram and literally every other social media is extremely girly, as you can probably see. So, today I will be doing a get ready with me, which I've never done before, and like a Q&A and like some personal stories and like little talks like you get cozy with me, we'll talk a little bit, we'll do our makeup, answer some of your questions, talk about some YouTube drama, so. <laughs> so also I had this really aesthetic company reach out to me called Monk. So they sent me a couple personal portable aromatherapy like essential oil diffusers that you inhale. These are just essential oils that are plant-based. So they are available in 10 different like flavors or blends. Organic, natural, nicotine, and tobacco free because no sis, we're not playing with that. And they're free of artificial chemicals so it's all plant extracted which I love. Like I always try to promote for you guys like organic, natural, cool things. This is not a vape. Or like, and it's not an e-cigarette either. You don't smoke this, you breathe it. Breathe it into your mouth and exhale through your nose. Also, I do have a code for you guys. It's Gen 10. I know, it's, I was like, Ben 10. No, Gen 10, sis. It's 10% off, so Gen 10. Me a little t-shirt. Oh my God. So they sent me this cute t-shirt that says Monk on it. And in the back, it says Aromatherapy Anywhere gonna be repping it in class. <laughs> little sticker, definitely putting that on my laptop, so freaking cute. A little necklace holder for your essential oil diffuser. And it holds your essential oil diffuser if you would want to carry that around. Came in this box. And the box is like magnetic and stuff and it feels really nice. So let's open it up. Actions on the box and here are a couple of them. Super, super aesthetic, love that. Um, and these are the flavors that I got just because I was really interested in these specific ones. So I got Forest, Happy, Love, Mountain, Ocean, Sleepy, and Zen. And they're so aesthetic, like I can't even get over this like, at all. How to use it. So you pop the cap, you slide out the monk, you breathe it in gently through your mouth and breathe out gently through your nose. It's really just like having an oil diffuser in your home, but it's portable. Because either way, you're breathing it in, so you're breathing this in. But you're not inhaling, you're breathing it in. I already tried Ocean. Ocean is so nice. Yeah, so you pop the cap. How pretty is that? Look at this little glistening little diamond. Oh, I love that. And they all are their own colors. my god love that it was it was so good it found my camera um love that love this one see this light up all of these light up i like forest more i'm really shocked um Ocean was eucalyptus, lime, and tangerine. It's good, but surprisingly, Forest was so good. Thank you so much, Monk, for sending me this. They're so freaking cool. I love them. All right, so uh, let's get into it. We're about to do a uh, get ready with me slash Q&A. So let's chill, you know, grab some snacks. Um, or do your makeup. I love watching get ready with me's while like I'm getting ready like I feel so connected to that person like let's Let's get connected. You know I'm gonna have a little rose ganache in the background courtesy of my sister because she got me this Thank you. I'm gonna use this Gramercy Tavern Matches. So we're gonna light a candle get cozy up Why? Okay, let's take two so I have my little mirror here, and I have my makeup brushes right here, and I have my makeup in this little corner, and I have my other light. I'm gonna put this bad boy on so that my hair is not in my face. <laughs> it's okay. 
it's okay y'all are my besties y'all are gonna see me through um the weird parts of my life so i have my little essential oil diffusers right here so cute right now i'm feeling ocean I love that smell. Well, oh my god, it was so calming. Love that. Love that for us. Anyways, we don't like dry faces here. No, no, no. I'm just using like an e.l.f. primer. Honestly, like e.l.f. primers are so cheap, but like one of the best primers I've ever used in my life, so. So now I'm gonna get into the questions you guys have asked me. I saved a couple. So someone asked me, where were you born and how old are you? I am 19 years old, which is really weird because I feel like I'm 17. I think 17 was like the best age because you're not legally an adult yet. So like you could still get away with like little things like not being responsible. Anyway, so yeah, I consider myself 17. Um, yeah, I never remember my age. Like people ask me my age and I'm just like, I 19, 19. Um, but yeah, and I was born in America. I was born in Manhattan. I was the first one in my family to be born here. My sister was born in Ukraine, um, and my parents are from Ukraine. So I'm the only one in my family that could potentially be a president of the United States. Someone else asked me, what do you want to do after college and like, what do you study? Good question. I'm a bag of confusion. He, I am a weirdo and I'm studying theater and biology. So yeah, I love my double life. I feel like Hannah Montana every day. Um, <laughs> no, no, but like I actually do. I, I feel like Hannah Montana because sometimes I'm like in class and I'm like doing exercises where I'm acting like a kid in theater classes and I'm just like running around a classroom and then next thing I know I'm doing really hard physics problems and then I'm just like dying and the teacher I'm in like a lecture of like 500 people and no one cares about you but in theater classes it's the complete opposite it's so interesting love theater been doing that my entire life like I, I love singing um, can't wait to release my music video. Oh my god. It's taken a little bit. I know um, <laughs> um, I have so much beef about that actually <laughs> um, No, yeah, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Love my life after college I'm gonna pursue theater a little bit like I, I mean like I am like I have been like I'm pursuing acting and all that stuff which I have been for my entire life. There's gonna be a point where my bio degree is gonna help me and I'm gonna try to apply to dental school and that's kind of my path right now. So um, I'm working on my acting thing right now, but I'm then I'm gonna go to dental school. No, yeah, but science is very hard as like obviously um, and if you're trying to go to dental school, you have to get A's. Um, <laughs> It's really hard. I'm always crying. I always try to go out at nights, like on weekends, because that like keeps me sane, as it does for most college students. I actually really liked physics. Physics was really easy for me. Um, well, not really, but like it was easier. But bio is so much, and I got an A minus in that. I was like, wow, hallelujah to my life. Um, not the first semester, second semester, but now I'm in ecology. That's also really hard. The other day, oh my god, I was at a, <laughs> I was at a house party yesterday, and someone from my ecology class noticed me, and then they were like, "Hey, I think you're in my ecology class," and I was just like, "Oh, hey, like what's up?" And then he was like telling me how much how easy ecology is for him and how much he loves ecology. Like I'm gonna ask him a bunch of ecology questions at a party where everyone is under the influence and then I'm like sitting there asking him about the Corollas effect and I'm like do you get it? I literally turned that party into a tutoring session and I could not comprehend what he was saying you know everyone was drinking am I embarrassed from that whole night? yes yeah college is really hard um but obviously it's hard because of my what I chose to do with it. Um, definitely struggling with mental health, as I'm sure literally everyone does in college. Things are really hard. You're alone, you're away from your family. 
Um, don't get me wrong, I love college. Uh, it's so much fun, but it definitely does have those days where I'm literally suffering. Um, mental health is hard here for in college, so um, if you have like a therapist on campus, definitely take advantage of that. Someone asked, will you ever do a video reacting to any game like Fortnite or episode? Oh my god, like people are gonna yell at me or scream at me, but I really like episodes. I haven't played it in mad long, but um, I think it's the funniest game. Like, I, like, okay, if you play some episodes, they're really bad. Don't get me wrong, some are really bad. But if you find a good writer, like, that's interesting. I just like that you get to do your own choices, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it's like fun. Anyways, um, yeah, if you guys want me to do that video, comment that down below. Um, Fortnite, uh, I, I, hate, I hate Fortnite, so. Probably not, but also I'm gonna be using the Bad Habit Midnight Summer Night. But this is from Hush. Remember when every single YouTube video was about Hush and now it's not? Hate that. Because I love Hush. Look at how cute their little. Oh, love this. It's so cute. I'm gonna use like a glittery eyeshadow from here and then I'm gonna use a matte eyeshadow from the White Peach palette by Too Faced. Love this. Really, oh, by the way, guys, I'm going out tonight. That's why we're doing this get ready with me. Um, yeah, I'm going out tonight, and I'm filming this really early so that I have time to talk to y'all. Have you ever been in a jungle before? <laughs> no. But I really want to. I'm in forests a lot, if that counts. I go hiking. Not by choice. Um, for my ecology class, which has uh, been such a struggle. <laughs> Can I just rant about that, please? Um, if you love hiking, I am so happy for you. You get your exercise, like so much fun. I went hiking in rain boots the other day. <laughs> we went all the way down to a creek and it was like slippery wet rocks, like 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 this, like slippery wet rocks to walk on down. And that I don't even understand how someone can take this class if they're, for example, disabled or have a bad back. That was strenuous. Um, didn't fall though. Thank God. Um, also, I'm taking intro to theater tech, which is like wood making, like things you're making things out of wood, and um, you're working on big machinery like table saws and stuff, and like learning how to use like drill bits and screws and hammers and all and mechanical tools and like handheld tools like all of that stuff and i have to like build a birdhouse for the final and it's just light so it's like mechanics and electronics it's, it's, it's just so much um don't tell my mom even though she's literally gonna see this and cry um but i was cleaning wood out of a machine and thank god it was off but I was literally cleaning things out of the machine, like poking like the wood out of it because like to use it again, it was just like, it makes holes in wood. Um, and to use it again, you need to clean it out. And I was cleaning it out and then my hand slipped and I cut myself on the drill bit. Um, this is, this is what, can I turn my hand? This like, yeah, so it, it, it like, it's been healing, but this is what happened to my hand. And um, that was not very fun. Um, no, and I went to like put a band-aid on. I asked, I asked someone for a band-aid. I was like, hey, do you know where the band-aids are? And then that girl like literally screams like I get the blood on my hand. But like sis, my thumb was attached. Like it's not as bad as other people's. Like literally like thumbs get detached all the time on the wood machines. But like my thumb was attached. So sis, you could have calmed down a little bit because she like, I wasn't scared, but she scared me by her scream. And I go to my professor because he was in his office like he didn't see. And then I'm just like, hey, like I did this. Um, he gave me Neurosporin and he was just like, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I guess I am. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like I wasn't in pain, like I had band-aid on. And then he was, and I was just like, so what do I do now? And he was just like, um, are you traumatized? And I was like, no. And he was like, well, get back on the machine then. And I was like, I should have said I was traumatized. Um, because then I had to keep working on that machine and it was literally three hours. It was so dreadful. I hated that. Is your hair naturally blonde? No. 
I wish it was. I mean, I'm like a dirty blonde naturally. I haven't seen my natural hair color since I was 12 maybe. Um, yeah, no, no, probably not 12, probably like 14. You could always see my hair color in my roots. Someone once commented on one of my videos, they were just like, someone was just like, oh my god, I love your naturally blonde hair. And like, I was gonna tell her that it wasn't, but then someone like beat me to the punch. And then that, that person literally commented and they were just like, how could you even think her hair is naturally blonde? Like, it's literally so obviously not blonde. And it was the most aggressive comment about like a fact about me. And it was just like, started YouTube about like two years ago, I think. I wasn't really consistent to begin with though, which was my really bad fault. Um, so that's why I wasn't really popping at all. Not that I'm really popping now, but like I was definitely worse. Um, I was, I started YouTube because like I loved doing hauls. Those are like my favorite things to do. And I would do hauls like to my boyfriend on FaceTime all the time. But as a boy, he did not care <laughs> at all. So I decided like, what if I actually did hauls to like people that care? I was like YouTube and I've been watching YouTube since I was literally nine like since Shane was doing those skits like with Shanene and like I would I loved YouTube still love YouTube so much I like my heart hurts like I love YouTube so much I love youtubers grew up with Trisha Paytas too love Trisha Paytas um one of my favorite youtubers is Gabby DiMartino love love her like my dream is to be like best friends with her like she is the like she's such perfection she's so cute like she made me girly like i'm telling like i was not girly i was like aimlessly like i couldn't figure out a style by like the end of senior year of high school and she really made me girly use the shade and light even though i don't like kat von d um but i only like this palette and i got it in marshall's for like way cheaper like i would never be pay full price for this um, not that I don't like the quality, but like, like I stand Jeffree Star so hard here, like from that story, Kat Von D sounds like she was at fault and she was just being like a huge B word. <laughs> oh my God, all the Tila drama, I literally watch all of that and I'm just like, I don't know. Is it just me or does like Tila make, Tila makes me a little uncomfortable because I follow YouTubers on Instagram and like she always comments on everyone's Instagram like Tana Mojo, Gabby DiMartino, Emma Chamberlain like all the people that are like popping right now like she comments on every one of their photos and is always just like like love you or like so pretty whatever this is that and it's just like and that's good and all but like commenting on every single one of their photos all the time and like literally all the things she did when she was like away and she like vlogged Emma Chamberlain like OD. Um, oh, don't eyelashes just make you look a million times prettier? I love doing my makeup for good going out purposes. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me slash like Q&A kind of video. Definitely make sure to check them out. They're so freaking cute. The website will be down below. Bye guys.